Hey everyone, Matt from SoundRolling.com, and today we're going to talk about how I get a mixer to do a wireless transfer to a camera and get good sound. Okay, so we start off with the microphone and it goes straight into our mixer. We got our rough levels right, and you can see I've already started the process. So what we need to do is we're going to obviously, we've connected through XLR into the G3 here. And we've connected it so then we can transfer because this is the transmitter. We've transmitted to the receiver. You can tell because it has AF out on the top. And then we've gone into the camera. Let's see if you can see me. Hey. So um, how we did that was firstly make sure I set my levels right and um, obviously listen to them as well. Important to plug this in every now and again for sure. Um, and then once I sound really good, then what I need to do is I need to send reference tone. Now I've got it on solid. This is for minus 20, this thing in the middle here. And so all I need to do is because this is sending to this and this, I've double checked that zero dB means that it's not adding gain and it's not taking away gain. That means that that's essentially just transmitting anything I send it from here. And then I've made sure on here, if we go to the menu settings, that I've aimed roughly for the middle. I've aimed maybe slightly higher because DSLRs, um, generally the kind of stuff you're working with is for online, and so you can be a little bit hotter. It's okay, it's okay. I've got limiters on my mixer as well, so I won't actually limit on the camera. The camera won't be doing the limiting. I'll be doing the limiting, it should be good. So, but essentially what I'm looking at is these little markers down here, and so I'm aiming for the middle, but while I'm doing that, while that shows up, to make sure I get the right sensitivity, obviously, if I turn it up, then I'm going up, and that's not good. And these menus time out way too quickly. Um, and if I go down, then I go down. I already have it, minus 60 is the lowest you can go, which is about there. So minus 60 would be okay. I mean, minus 57, I went for minus 54. Um, no, I went for minus 57 even, so we're 3db above that, and um, you obviously heard how it sounded. Um, so I think that's pretty much the whole setup for easily getting it into a DSLR. Um, just make sure you're on the lowest uh, gain setting for the camera as well. And uh, let's flip back to the camera. So if this video is useful, then obviously give it a thumbs up. If you like daily content, subscribe. Get down in the comments below. This is where all the value is, both for you and for me, in terms of whatever I'm going to share next. As I continue doing a blog, blog type tutorial, sharing all my knowledge um, every day, forever ever and ever. And uh, we'll see where it goes. So until then, I'll see you tomorrow.